everybody, we're going to do a couch healing today on your energy centres. So settle yourself down, relaxing your body, your mind and your spirit. Let the earth hold you. Feel as if you're sinking in to the couch. And relax. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment. Nobody needs anything from you at this moment. we have grounded you. Let us protect you. Imagine that candle flame at the centre of your being and pushing out and growing and glowing. Above you, below you, to each side in the front and the back pushing out any residue as much as it can. And let's say that your aura is here. I want you to push that flame out to there so it creates a barrier between what is thrown at you and where you actually are. even notice your tummy starts to rumble as the chi moves around and is freed up. Okay. Now many of you love this amethyst wand, a root wand, and some people call this amaturine when it has the the brown within it. So starting at your crown, we're going to sweep down the front line of your body. Down the side. We're breaking any of these cords here. So we're going to go under the couch, sweeping down your back line, any cords, any ties, not of the creator's desire. Sweeping away, breaking those cords. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment. Nobody needs anything from you at this moment. Relaxing. Relaxing. Okay. Now let's take this Isis pendulum modelled on one found in one of the tombs, very strong. And let's clear the crown. Clearing away any doubt. So that you can get those messages from your higher self, your guides and your angels. Over the third eye now, Clearing away any headaches, any mental confusion, also doubt, doubt in your intuition that is. And then your throat, 
clearing away any problems of communication, listening or talking, speaking your truth, worries about that. Down to the heart now, clearing away any heartache, any loss, any grief, it will return, but at least it won't overwhelm you, hopefully, with these healings. The solar plexus. We are clearing away any lack of self-confidence. Excessive tiredness. Any insult. And down to the sacral. Again, emotional turmoil we're going to clear. Sexual healing. And also creative blocks. Physical, mental, emotional, creative. And then finally down to the root, the Mahadhara. Clearing away any worries about your physical survival, home, work, monies, family, but also, I believe, a place of sexual healing. Okay. And then really half of the work is done. You trust in yourself, trust in the Reiki, trust in the pendulum and the stones. And trust in yourself. Really a big thing. Breathe in and breathe out as we start to work. on the crown chakra. Now, let this apophyllite shine its light in. You can also pull out into that for a while. Absolutely beautiful, this white apophyllite. And whilst you're here, I'm just going to hold this above you. Shine it directly into that crown. Feeling the light shining in now. Imagining that crown as a beautiful thousand petals lotus. Opening up the petals and reaching like little antennae to the information that is going to come from the chakras above your head from your spirit helpers, but also your higher self. Blowing out any negativity, any stagnant energy. And as I said, that doubt. And I'm also going to draw the dicornia. Oh, I'm actually drawing the distant healing symbol, so maybe you needed that. To go into the future and now. 
the Tibetan Diary Courier. in myself. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. And now sealing in with a beautiful golden protective light area around the crown. Now another beautiful raw stone here. Look at the colours. There, that's the best colour of this labradorite. And I do struggle to say that word. Let's shine this now into that third eye. Reiki is coming out of this hand here. And just feel those light colours shining in. Let's angle it a bit to your temples. And the other side. Just lose yourself in that blue. Absorb it into all of the areas of that chakra. Now the Hindus believe this has two petals. Just imagine them opening up either side so that you can discern things. That's it. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment and nobody needs anything from you at this moment. Drawing a choke away. Choke away. It's like a turbo boost, but it is also a protective. And then we seal it with golden light. Breathe in, breathe out. Relax, relax. You can feel your auras expanding now. We now come to the throat and this is blue lace agate. <clears throat> Excuse me, see my throat needs healing. Throat is quite a delicate area. So those blockages that stop you speaking out for fear of ridicule. For creativity. Stopping you listen to other people, even in a discussion where you know that someone is probably wrong. Listen. And then say your piece. P 
people just want the satisfaction of being listened to and it is a two-way street. To any heaviness falling away now as the light from this beautiful blue laced agate filters into your throat center. And just imagine those petals opening up. There are about 16 of them, I believe, at this energy center. with that golden light. Okay. I'm aware I don't do as many sounds as other ASMR artists, so I'm just trying to add some. And now we are at the heart. Open your upper and your lower hearts. Invite love in and in return, send your love out. The upper heart is universal love. The lower heart is the love we have our friends and our families. Some believe we have three heart chakras. And this will have ooh, possibly about six petals opening if I remember the pictures of the chakra system. All of those little scars and those holes being filled up with gold and rose quartz energy. And those scars will be even more beautiful once the light shines within and without. with that golden energy. Now, down to the solar plexus, probably the most damaged energy center on everyone. Those insults, even from way back when you were a little kid at recess. We'll use this yellow calcite. It is a cleansing crystal, but the color is just so vibrant, isn't it? I'm gonna just shine that light in to overshadow and to illuminate those pockets within you where your confidence has been lost. Where the belief in yourself has been shattered. And this is what I'm really aiming for, belief in yourself. I want you to have the confidence that you can have a go at anything. And 
don't always succeed, but having a go and taking part is what counts in my book. You know you can. You think you can. You know you can. You think you can. You know you can. John Corey. golden light. And breathe out. Now, down to the sacral. A creative centre, an emotional centre. Traditionally orange, but I'm going to use this Red Jasper. I'm using Red Jasper because it warms things up. This is a water-based chakra. Imagine those petals of that orange flower opening up. The warmth flooding in the orange, the joy. Overshadowing. And hopefully giving you some relief from emotional turmoil. Aiding your creativity, giving you the confidence and the belief in yourself. And now finally down to the root. Now, I have chosen to use a Shiva Lingam stone. And I use it with the utmost respect. This would be in the centre of a temple. It would be resting on a teardrop shape rest and offerings, honey, milk, water, flowers, also those coloured incense dust will be smeared upon the Shiva Lingam. I want you to take your concentration down to the root, to the Mulhadhara. Imagine those four petals opening out. And I'm going to point this towards you. And I want you to feel the solidity of the earth. The earth has got you. You are part of the earth. We ask for abundance. We ask for comfort. We ask for nurturing. We ask for healing.
and it's very heavy mud sediment based stone. How beautiful is this? This was given to me by my beautiful friend Krishna who died in the last delta wave. We used to teach crystal courses together. Gray. Ceiling with gold. And I'm just going to give a little polish just in case we haven't removed anything with the smoky quartz. Polishing down the chakra line. I'm going to go down the screen. I'm going to polish with the white, clear quartz rather, not white quartz. Shining that pure light in to every energy center. I want you to start to see yourself as a body of light. Imagine all of those beautiful colors. See yourself as a light being. The blue, the pale blue, the pink, the yellow, the red and the brown, all shining out of you from every pore in your skin. And finally. boost here with the clear quartz wand. And we now ask the Reiki and the guides to continue this healing for as long as is needed. as well. Now we can check with a pendulum. Is the root balanced? Yes it is. Thank you. Is the sacral balanced? No. Okay, let's do a little bit more on this sacral then. Let's clear. If you want to put your hands on your sacral, with intent, you will be healing yourself. You can pull out of it like I am doing here. Even if you can't feel the energy, it works. Trust me, I didn't feel energy for eight years after I was attuned. <clears throat> Excuse me again. I'm going to draw the master symbol to gain mastery and to bring harmony. 
seal that with gold and on yourself. Let's have a little look. Is the sacral balanced? Yes. Thank you, guides. Thank you, Reiki. Thank you, Stones. Is the set? It is balanced even before I've asked it because I thought it first. It answered. Thank you. Is the heart balanced? Yes. Is the throat balanced? Yes. Is the third eye balanced? No. A little bit more work on that. So. Shining that into your brow. Teasing a few extra bits out. Your third eye is not instantly going to be open. It takes a lot of work. I've been working on mine for 30 years and it is getting better. I am seeing results over this last sort of four years. But keep going. Not many are wise in their young life. That comes with age and experience, unless you are one of these indigo children coming through who seem to know an awful lot. I suspect many of you watching are younger than me, so you will have more open channels than I had. Let's just hold this behind you. Let's draw in the chakra area. <sighs> Breathe out. Is that balanced? Is this balanced? Yes. Thank you, guides. Thank you, Reiki. Thank you, crystals. Thank you, angels. And thank you to you who has shown up for yourself. And now we come to an end. I'm going to draw the chakra completely around you in protection and I want you to believe in yourself. Breathe in and breathe down to your feet. Whatever time you are watching this video, whether it's at night or in the morning or at lunch. Hopefully it has relaxed you and restored the balance to your energy centres. But be aware, they change hourly depending on what is going on with you. So just try and be calm. Think before you react, but step into your new life, believing and knowing that you can do it. And I thank you for coming today and I wish you many blessings. Lots of love until the next time.